What's up guys, Pop one one here. Today we're going to be going over my newly updated flamethrower mod. So let's get started. So first off, we need to obviously go to our book, check out exotics, and select our flamethrower. Now I'm not sure if you guys have seen this before, but I gotta say it's probably one of my favorite flamethrowers. It's not the only one that I've really ever seen in Blade Sorcery. And it's completely customizable to you guys' liking, so I'll go through all of those abilities in a minute. But if you guys have seen this before, let me know where, because it is from a very well-known source. So, as you guys can tell, we have this beautiful flamethrower. We pull the trigger, we shoot up, well, flames. Obviously, it's a flamethrower, it stops from there, you guys know that. But, some of the cool features that it has, since it's completely customizable, since it's using my newly updated particle collision script, we can do things like, well, we have this barrel right here. It can knock stuff over using force. So we can customize the force used. We can customize whether or not the particles interact with this. So for example, if I spawn another one of these guys in and it wants to work, we pull the trigger. Notice nothing happens to this item. But if we shoot it on the others, it just blows everything back. So that is extremely helpful if you want your particles or whatever spawning to be inside your weapon. So you don't want it to collide with the actual weapon itself because then the particles will go every which way and not the direction you want. So that is just a very small but very important little feature that I decided to add. So that's customizable. You can customize the amount of force. You can customize if we spawn in a guy right here or a girl. You can customize whether or not they change color. You can customize whether they get lit on fire or not. You can customize the amount of damage that it does when the particles hit them. You can customize, oh, yes, I spawned too. You can customize whether or not the particles make them flail around like that, the amount of time that they flail around, the damage associated with it. Overall, there's just a ton of things you can do. You can even customize whether or not it activates with the spell button or the trigger. And last but not least, there is an option that you can add to it. That when it hits an enemy, the enemy will freeze. Now, I don't have it on right now, but it works very well. And obviously, you can customize the amount of speed that the enemy is frozen at, and a whole lot of other things related to it. You can also change the color. So, for example, if you wanted to make a freeze ray, you could freeze all your enemies and turn them blue. Right? Makes sense, doesn't it? But yeah, so let's say we want to light all these guys on fire right here. Now, sometimes it gets a little bit weird when you're spawning them in with the spawner, but you guys get the idea. So this is my newly updated flamethrower, which I gotta say is a ton of fun. You got a couple handles on here to make it a little bit easier. So one cool feature about this is notice we can still move our hands around. We can pull the trigger on any part and it doesn't activate. The only part that it will activate is if we're holding this trigger right here and we pull the trigger. So that is customizable as well. And yeah, so as long as the particles hit them, they they get activated and whatever we want to happen, happens. I gotta say, it's actually a very cool weapon and I really enjoy this. So, <laughs> and it's also a ton of fun to use because I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to light all their enemies on fire, right? And you can't tell me that these flames don't look awesome as well. And honestly, that's it guys. So if you like the mod, you like the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching.